Hey everyone, we are back for yet another review. Today we're doing something a little bit different. This is going to be a head-to-head -head review of David's tea, their, um, see their sticky rice, and then the rice pudding by the Whistling Kettle. So I wanted to try both of them. They're both oolong teas, um, which I, I like a lot, and a favorite kind of tea of mine. So I wanted to try, see, compare, contrast, see what we thought, and see which one was preferred. Um, I definitely have a preference on the two of them. Uh, as for the physical look, they're both green and oxidized small teas, so nothing, uh, nothing out of the ordinary there. When you brew them, let's see, the rice pudding and the oolong, they look very, very similar right now, but the rice pudding is a tiny, tiny bit darker, and the sticky rice was a, a little bit lighter. So um, as for the smell, Rice pudding took that. It was um, it was much better cinnamony smell. Smell a little bit, um, a little bit better, a little bit more inviting. The sticky rice smells just like you would think sticky rice. Um, sticky rice is a dessert. Usually, I think it's a Thai dessert or at least an Asian dessert. And they usually wrap it up in banana leaves and sometimes put some a banana in the core of it. It's got a little bit of sugar. Man, it's really good. If you've never had it before, you should try it out. Uh, if you have had it, then this tea is for you. Um, the compare and the contrast between the two of them, um, when it comes down to drinking them, I definitely liked the sticky rice better. My wife and I both thought it was a better flavor. I want to say the rice pudding, because of the cinnamon, the same thing that made it smell so good, kind of took away from the, um, from the tea itself. It gave it a little bit of a weird aftertaste that I didn't enjoy. So, between the two... I like the sticky rice a lot. I would definitely buy it again. And the sticky rice is from David's Tea online. And then this is from the, the rice pudding is from the Whistling Kettle. And you could try them both, but I would recommend the sticky rice. On a 1 to 10, I put this at a 5. It's not bad. You're not going to hate it. If you like oolong and you like rice pudding, it could be worth a shot. But it wasn't my thing, and I wouldn't order it again. The sticky rice, it is. It's really good. I would order it again. Um, one of my wife's absolute favorites. So, put this at a five. I put this one at an eight. My wife put it at a nine. <clears throat> she wanted me to mention that. So, it's uh, it's really good. And I, I definitely like the sticky rice. I recommend it. Come back here for more videos. Like us and uh, share us with your friends. Thank you very much.